Hi, this is Mike McConville, Director of New Category Development with Horizon Hobby. And in this video, we want to talk about uh, disabling the GPS system in the uh, Sportsman S Plus while you're flying. Um, why would you want to do that? Well, normally you wouldn't. But like anything with a lot of high technology, sometimes things can happen, go wrong, and the system can malfunction. Um, but we built in some fail safes so that uh, you, the airplane will not fly away even if the system gets confused. So what can cause a system failure? Probably one of the biggest things is a magnetic interference because it uses an onboard uh, compass type of system. Uh, it's a solid state compass all built within, uh, within the, uh, the unit, but it does rely on magnetic north and that's why we have to do the calibration steps. But there are things that can, that can interfere with it. One of the biggest things is getting a magnet in the vicinity of the airplane. Um, I know there are some action cams that have magnet mounts and if you happen to put one of those on the airplane, um, you'll probably have a problem. So first, don't use any uh, action cams or anything with a magnetic mount on the airplane or uh, it will mess up the, uh, the, the compass system. So while we're in the air, um, what, what does a failure look like? Well, when you're flying within the fence, you're flying, you're not even using the system. So you can take off and fly around normally and not even know you have a problem until, until you either tell it to uh, go into holding pattern or you fly out and hit the fence or you tell it to auto land. And once you use one of those three features, um, the system is now using the Safe Plus features, is using the GPS and the, and the compass um, to, to fly autonomously or, or semi-autonomously. And if an error happens, sometimes the system, the, the, the airplane will get confused, the system will be confused, and it might circle, and you won't be able to, to bring it back. This doesn't happen very often. Um, but if it does, so you don't fly away, we've built in a very simple means to disable the GPS system when you're in the air. Um, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, it just uh, takes a, a couple of seconds. Once it's disabled, um, it's not on for the rest of the flight. Uh, you do have all the safe features, so you've still, you've still got beginner mode or intermediate mode or experience mode. And it still has its altitude awareness, so it knows when it's low and it makes the uh, uh, the auto panic still works, but it doesn't have fence anymore, and it doesn't have uh, auto land or, uh, or holding pattern. Um, but enough talking, let's show you the simple way and how the simple way to disable this system when it's in the air. Okay, so in the very rare occasion when there might be a system malfunction and you need to turn the GPS system off, um, just follow a couple very simple steps. First, hold down the auto land button for at least three seconds, uh, three seconds or more, and while you're holding it, flip the flight mode switch three times, all the way back and forth. I did four, three actually does it. Once you, once you do that, the GPS system, the whole guidance system is off. I still have safe, I'm flying right now, and it's, it's in beginner mode, so it self levels, uh, but I don't have, now I press the button to auto land or to go into holding pattern, it doesn't work, and the geo fence isn't there. Um, so if the system were malfunctioning and it wouldn't come back, I turn it off and I can just fly it back like normal. Um, the system is now off until I cycle the power. Once I cycle the power and plug it back in, it's back on. So with the in-flight GPS shutdown procedure, if you've had to do that because the system was not working correctly, um, please remember to do a compass calibration before you fly again because there was something that caused that error and it's probably going to be there again until you recalibrate. When you do, it should be fine. For more videos like this, see hobbyzonerc.com